Hello there. Terrible day, isn't it? Oh, not just the weather. Although, yes, you're right. That's pretty awful, too. Makes me wish for sunshine. Anyway, I was actually referring to this particular day. Today. It's been terrible, hasn't it? Actually, I think you know perfectly well what I'm talking about. But, don't let that bother you. The clouds will soon part. I can sort things out for you. Make this day something special. A day that you'll never forget. How? Well, allow me to come in and explain. Mind if I sit down? Maybe there on the sofa? Thanks. Ugh. It's really hard. <laughs> Prefer mine a little softer than this, but hey, needs must, yeah? Sometimes when you economize, you need to live within your means. Nothing wrong with that. Very wise. <laughs> my, my. Aren't we full of questions? Who are you? What are you doing here? So, let me see. Where to begin? Well, let me answer the same questions about you. Who are you? You're in deep trouble, and you feel like you've come to the end. You're you. Like all others who wander around the world, scrabbling around, trying to take something good, something fun, out of your existence. You live in this average house in an average part of the world. You're not a wizard, nor a warrior. You're not the chosen one. You're an ordinary person with an ordinary life. But you are under an extraordinary amount of pressure. You have a name. Of course you have a name. All living beings do. But names are simply labels. They identify you, certainly. But they don't define you. Actions. That is what I'm interested in. I want to know what you would do with a proposition. I'm still answering your first question, remember? But I'll get to the proposition in a minute. Who are you? I believed you asked. And I said, actions define you. So, think back to what brought you to this moment. Today. The most terrible day of your life. Because that will tell you who you really are. Actually, no. Wait a second. Let me tell you. Two weeks ago, the economy collapsed. You, among many others, lost your job, didn't you? And in such a petty, impersonal way. No tearful goodbyes, no remembering old battles, no wars well fought. Just a letter terminating your contract. Now, I understand that sometimes redundancies need to happen. But at such a financially difficult time as this, terrible news. Scott Electronics. Ring any bells? Hmm. I see that it does. A few months ago, your brother-in-law got onto a good thing, didn't he? Made a packet on the stock market and managed to persuade you to join him. Average down so he could pick up a decent dividend. However, he couldn't tell the difference between a bear market and a bullish one. And you ended up taking on margin, which meant that you got wiped out when it all crashed. Well, if you don't understand what I'm saying, why on earth were you playing the stock market with your family's money? You got wiped out, didn't you? All gone. Had to take a loan out from your friendly neighborhood loan shark to pay off the loan from the broker. And sadly, 
Today's the day he wants all his loan back. Plus interest, right? Indeed. And you don't have it. And goodness me. Hasn't your partner suffered? Couldn't take the shouting, the drinking, the constant bickering. I can't say I'm surprised. I wouldn't enjoy that kind of behavior myself. I don't exactly thrive on negativity. Anyway, now the house, the bedroom, the kitchen, all the hearts in the house are empty. So lonely. So cold without them. Still, if you've got your health, what else matters? Only, you don't have that, do you? Stage three. One more to go before the end. Degeneration. Pain. It's partly why you're so angry. I understand that. I really do. I've known countless others in similar circumstances. So many strands from so many times and places. They all collect in this moment. It honestly doesn't matter who I am or how I know all this. What really matters is that here we are, at this particular moment in time, the most terrible day of your life. This is who you are. Which leads us to your second question. What are you doing here? The answer? You're about to end it all. Frankly, I'm not surprised. It looks like an impossible situation, doesn't it? Where do you go? What do you do? Who do you turn to? A million questions. And when the answers don't seem to ever come, you wonder, don't you? What would it be like to leave the party early? Well, life wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't help. Take it from me. All you'd really achieve is passing all your problems to everyone else. But I have another suggestion. Actually, a proposition. Just give me a few minutes of your time. If you agree, great. If you don't, I'll walk out of your life with no hard feelings. I want to make a deal with you. Everything you're going through, I can change it. Permanently. I can solve all your problems. Your job, your debt worries, your relationship problems, even your health. Today, in an instant. However, in exchange, someone you don't know, have never known, and never will meet, will die. Do we have a deal? No, no. no. Take your time. This isn't like your brother-in-law in the stock market. I want you to be totally clear about everything before we make a deal. Then I'll answer any questions that you ask. Yes, I'm serious. All your problems, gone in an instant. If you agree, of course. Hmm. That's interesting. You know, not too many individuals I talk to ever pause to consider the human side of things. But you, you actually want to know about why a life has to be lost. <laughs> Definitely puts you in the top 3%. Well, how do I put this? The universe is like a fabric, made up of strands of moments and actions. Living beings are the greatest threads of a collection of strands, all bound together. And there has to be a balance. So, if one thread is slackened, then, naturally, another thread 
has to be pulled tighter. Even cut out sometimes. That's what I do. Celestial sewing. No. You personally don't have to kill anyone. If you did, then you'd have to come into contact with them, or know them, which would totally negate the whole never known, never will know condition of the deal. So, no, I guarantee you'll never meet them. Therefore, you won't be asked or expected to kill them. Me? No, I won't be doing any of the killing either. I don't exactly know who. It's an entirely different department from mine. What I can say is that they're professionals. They take pride in their work. Absolutely nothing sadistic or gratuitous. Well, as I said, you never once met, knew, had breakfast with, spoke on the phone with, gave a tip to, or otherwise ever came in contact with this person when you were drunk or otherwise, in your entire life. Actually, you know something? This person lives with the idea of death every single day. They dread it. It's a horrible way to live, isn't it? It wouldn't be too much of an exaggeration to say that the person I'm thinking about would probably welcome death about now. Which, by the way, also means that it's not you who dies. After all, you have a little bit of hope right now. Sure thing. I'd be happy to go over the terms again. I will solve all of your problems today. Immediately. In exchange... Someone you don't know, never have known, and never will meet, dies. So, do we have a deal? Alright, let's do it. No, oh, you don't need to swear on your firstborn or anything. Or write a contract in blood. We did away with that years ago. Just answer yes to what I'm about to say. I will solve all your problems today, immediately. In exchange, someone you don't know, never have known, and will never meet, will die. Do we have a deal? Okay. That was a very emphatic yes. I do like decisive people. And there you go. All your problems. Gone. <laughs> well, give it a moment. Your problems are gone. The rest of the world just hasn't caught up yet. By the way, do you have Wi-Fi? Ha, <laughs> you use the hotspot from next door. Clever. And thrifty. Connect to the hotspot and wait for the messages to come through. That is your bank. I'll paraphrase, shall I? <clears throat> we confirm that the sum of a truckload of money has mysteriously found its way via totally traceable sources into your bank account. That should be all the money you lost, plus a little bonus payment. And don't worry, if the tax man comes a knockin', the bank has got all the necessary documents for you to keep all this money too. That one is from your shark. He's charmingly brief. Got the money. You and me is all square. Illiterate, but that's another grill off your back, so to speak. I've got to say, I'm kind of proud of this one. It's your brother-in-law. I'll give you the pleasure of reading that one to yourself, but he's eating a lot of humble pie right now. Just make sure he doesn't sucker you into another investment, okay? Email from your old boss. He wants you back. And he has a new position. At twice the salary. If you want it. That's something for you to decide on... Maybe with this person. Yes. It's your partner. 
and they say that they love you very, very much. They miss you. They're coming back home to be with you and work things out. So be sure to enjoy your time together, if you know what I'm saying. Now this one is always a nice message to receive. Your doctor. He's asking that you come into his office for a chat as soon as you can. Spoilers. You're in remission. He won't know how or why, so do me a favor and forget that we had this chat, okay? If he asks, tell him you visited a faith healer or was struck with some otherworldly energy or something. Well, looks like you're all set. The deal's been done. And thank you. Know that? That's from me. A little message for you to remember me by. It says, I hope life gets better from this moment on for you and yours. And I faithfully promise that the next person I visit won't know you, will have never known you, and you will never meet at any time in the future. <laughs> and with that, I bid you goodbye. One of my people will be in touch in due time. 